feel like I'm always wearing Nike when I'm recording, but that has nothing to do with nothing. Hey guys, welcome to my channel. It's LaShira here for those that don't know. This video was not planned at all, actually. It kind of just came to my mind because I feel like it might be kind of essential for some people that are looking or that want to get into what I'm gonna be talking about. And pretty much what that is gonna be is obviously based on the title, how I got hired at Apple and hopefully how you can get hired too if you're looking for, like if you wanna get into that job. Um, I don't work for them anymore um, for personal reasons. There's nothing like, I have nothing against Apple. Like I love, that was, even though that was like the one job I worked like the shortest amount of time in, that was the best job that I've ever had. And I've only had two other jobs prior to that. So that says a lot. I just had like reasons that I had to not work there anymore. It's okay though, uh, maybe sometime in the future, who knows, whatever. So I'm gonna be talking about my experience, how I got hired, what the process was like, and hopefully I can give you guys some helpful information for anyone looking to get hired at the Apple store, like the retail store, not like any corporate job or like anything along the lines of that. So if you're looking for that, that's not really gonna be what I'm talking about here. So yeah, let's get right into it. So this is what, November? I got hired in August of this year. I applied in July. Um, I actually got kind of lucky when I applied because they were having like an event, like a hiring event at my local Apple store. So I was like, okay, like prior to that, I've, that's one job that I've always wanted to work at. Um, I'm gonna be honest with you guys, like right now, my mindset now when it comes to working for job like work at having jobs and um things of that nature isn't the same as it was when i was trying to get this job and jobs that i've had in the past like i used to be like a straight workaholic mind you guys i'm only 21 years old <laughs> i'm literally only 21 but i was a workaholic and i was someone that always wanted to just move up in every like any direction that I can at any of my jobs like before this job at Apple like I um worked my way up at my previous job which was at Foot Locker which I can do a whole different video on if you guys um want me to on how like that process what that process was like and um yeah my mindset is a lot different when it comes to working now however I'm thankful to have that I'm thankful that I had that mindset at that time because it really did get me where I wanted to be so yeah so like I said, I got hired in August of that um, of this year. I applied through jobs at apple.com, of course. Um, I just applied as a part-time specialist. Um, so like I said, they were having an event. They were having like some type of hiring event. So I applied and literally got um, an, an I got like email an email back for an interview. And uh, the interview, so. Let me just rewind. I told you guys this might be a little bit, it might be a mess, okay? Because I didn't plan this video at all. I kind of just like came to my head because I was like, I know there's someone out there that kind of wants this job, so. And I know for me, like when I first found out about, I found out that I got the interview, all I did was look up videos and um, articles about how to get hired, so. Hopefully this helps someone. I found out that I got the first interview the same day that I applied. So I'm thankful that that happened. And so if you don't know, when you apply to Apple, if you are called for an interview, it's a whole process. Like you're not gonna go through just one interview and then you get the job. No, like you're gonna go through multiple interviews. I personally had three interviews. So the first interview was over the phone. So I got, that first interview was literally one week after. Like they um would have you like fill out like a time slot thing you fill out, figure out what time works best for you for them to call you for the interview that's what i did that day came i had my over the phone interview and then they told me um that they pretty much like what i had to say and then they on that like that same interview time like during that same interview they asked if i was interested in having another interview which was that same week actually so i had 
two interviews in one week. The first one was over the phone. The second one was um, virtually through WebEx and it was a group interview. So um, there was one manager and then there was me and two other candidates that were um, applying for the, I'm pretty sure the same, the same position. I'm not pretty, I'm not sure, but I would assume so. Um, so I had that interview that Friday. So I had the first interview Monday, the second one was Friday. And then after that, um, the manager pretty much told us if they, they like what we had to say, they, we were gonna get a, either a call or an email for the third and final interview, which was gonna be in person. Um, and it was most likely gonna be at the store that you were applying to, at least that's how it was for me. Like they, um, my third interview was gonna be at the store that I had applied to work in with the, um, the head manager of that store. That interview I think took place let me see i had that friday was the virtual interview and then the beginning of the following week like the monday or tuesday i think i got actually yeah 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 the beginning of that week they called i got a phone call saying that they wanted to do like they wanted me to come in for the final interview which i was like so excited about so um, they called me for that interview and uh luckily i had like free time so i had that my last interview within that week i think it was like that friday or saturday so for me like the interview process was literally two weeks long i had three interviews in two weeks um that interview was kind of a group interview as well it was just me and one other candidate with the head manager and um yeah after that i just waited for a response because regardless of if you do or don't get the job like you're gonna hear back from them like they're not gonna just like leave you in the blue and like not knowing anything of whether or not you got it or not like they're gonna tell you whether they want to go forward or whether they don't want to go forward which is one thing that i really appreciated about them so <sighs> if i'm talking fast i'm so sorry but uh yeah that's pretty much what the process was like for me so now i guess i can get into how i personally got the jobs and like how i went about my interviews let me kind of give you guys some background information though because like I said, I'm only 21 years old. However, I've accomplished a lot professionally, I guess you can say when it comes to um, jobs and things like that. Like I've, I mean, like I think I got my first management position when I was 19 and then it was just up from there. <laughs> like I said, I was like a real workaholic and like I had like my, I was very goal oriented when it came to the jobs that I was working in. Um, mindset is completely different now, but that mindset got me where I wanted to be. So let me show you, let me kind of tell you guys how that actually happened. So let's talk about the first phone interview. Uh, it was with, um, obviously they were all with managers. And the first phone interview, they were pretty much trying to get to know you. They were kind of just doing a lot of, um, a lot of, what is the word? They were just really trying to get to know who I was. So like they just, at first they just asked me to introduce your, introduce myself, tell them a few things about me. I know that could be hard for a lot of people, but when it came to that, like for me, I pretty much would tell them what I think would be like essential for them. Like obviously I'm not gonna be like, oh, um, my favorite color is blue, yada, yada, yada. Like I'm not gonna tell them things that don't really like have anything to do with the job. So I told them like, my name is Lashira. I'm from, <clears throat> sorry. I'm from Connecticut, born and raised. Um, what else? What did I say? Uh, I told them I was a college student. I told them about my like educational background, how like I studied communications um, up until I decided to go into photography and digital imaging. I told them about pretty much like things that I accomplished and things that I wanted to accomplish. And I was pretty straightforward with it though. Like I didn't want to just keep running on and talking about things that didn't make sense. So not make sense, but things I really didn't have anything to do with the position that I was applying for. I do remember during that interview, she asked me, um, the manager, she asked me about like certain, um, since she gave me scenarios and how I would go about those scenarios. Being that I've always, the only jobs I've ever had really were, were in retail. So I had a lot of retail experience and um, I kind of knew what to say when it came to certain things just because 
of those experiences um like she would ask me how like i deal with difficult customers and things along the lines of that and pretty much i i mean i've dealt with a lot of crazy customers so it wasn't hard for me to it wasn't really hard for me to explain it however i pretty much told her like when it comes to dealing with difficult customers you have to really have a certain amount of patience like you really do if you don't have patience like it's not gonna go well for you and that's at any job in general like working in food like restaurants customer service retail anything of that sort like you you need patience you need to know how to not say things personally when it comes to working in customer service because just because a customer comes in mad at you does not mean that it's your fault like they just might be mad at the world for whatever reason that has something to do with you don't take it personally do what you're there to do and that's all you can do that's pretty much that was my answer that interview was pretty short also it was like less than 10 minutes honestly because like i said like that was just an interview to like kind of get to know you and see like where you might fit and your the position that you applied for so she didn't really ask me like why i wanted the position or anything along the lines of that so that was that interview the second interview like i said was virtually through webex and i had two other candidates that were um a part of the interview and then there was one manager the questions were kind of a little bit more straight uh, kind of more based on customer service and retail being that i was applying for a retail position so i kind of have to go further into detail like they'd ask me questions um i think they asked me that same question like how you would do with difficult customers um I think they asked me like what I felt like was the most important thing when it came to um, like working in customer service and like helping a customer find what they need. And to me, like when it comes to things like that, like, like I said, when you're working in those kind of jobs, like you're just there to do what you have to do. So for me, like my answer was pretty much probably along the lines of um, the fact that I know that the customer's needs come first. And I said something like that. <laughs> and then that interview was also pretty straightforward because it was um like three people in the interview like it wasn't that like it was only long because we all had to answer but the questions weren't anything like out of the ordinary um they also did i think that was the first interview where they asked why you wanted to work at apple and my answer was I don't 100% remember, but I know I said something along the lines of the fact that for one, um, I love Apple products, I always have. Um, I love technology. I love um, learning about different types of technology and things that like ways that I can apply it to my life. Like for example, my iPhone, my Mac, my Apple Watch, my iPad, um, like things like that. And I also mentioned the fact that I believe that I possess the qualities um, that would contribute to the company and um that will contribute to the growth of the company as far as like the stores go if that makes sense um it, i i'm pretty straightforward that's one thing i would say when it comes to interviews like when it comes to when it came to like the apple hiring process like all of my answers were very straightforward because of the fact that i know being that I was a manager before, I know when it comes to interviewing people, you don't really need lengthy answers because like sometimes people like to give lengthy answers because they think that that's what people, what the managers want to hear. And that's not really the case because you're there for that position. And I feel like all the answers just need to be around the position you're applying for and the company that you're working, that you're applying for as well. So that was the um third and final interview was actually very much similar to the group interview through webex as far as like the questions it was just in person and you were with only one other person and you were with the boss you were with like your potential boss so i pretty much gave the same exact answers um she did ask me to go a little bit more into detail when it came to like talking about past experiences with customers and how i went about certain situations but honestly like i said being straightforward was probably the one thing that got me the job because of the fact that i gave them answers that i know would um let them see that i want to work for the company not just for the money not just for <clears throat> not just for the money for the fact that that was something that i actually did want to do and i felt like as long as i showed them that i have as long as I show them that I believe that I have what it takes, I was going to be good. One thing I can say too, honestly, it's going to sound very cliche, 
but be yourself literally just be yourself when it comes to um interview processes for me like i i'm nervous like going to the interview but once i get there like i'm very laid back um and i think it's like that for me just because like i prepare for my interviews ahead of time like i like to think ahead and think like try to just be two steps ahead of the people that are um interviewing me just because you know that's kind of a way you can impress the person the job that you're the um your potential boss like i said uh once again being straightforward was is like the most important thing because i can tell you during my interview process i've had like some of the other people that were applying for the jobs like they were talking about like I feel like they were trying to tell the managers what like they thought that the managers wanted to hear like i remember one guy just talking about his like computer background and like even though like that is essential like getting into the techs and the techie stuff like isn't really what is necessary when it comes to an interview process like the whole point of an interview process is just showing that you have like that that people person quality and good communication skills and you know or you have the potential to like help the company grow because obviously like when it comes to the tech the techie stuff behind apple products like macs and things along the lines of that like you're gonna learn that as you go and that's one thing that i learned like i even though like i own a macbook i own an iphone like i own a lot of apple products but there were a lot of things i didn't even know about up until like i got hired and starting my training process because like sometimes like you're gonna get hit with um customers asking you like very specific questions and of course at first you're gonna be a little like on edge because you don't know what you might not know what it means or you might not know exactly what you're looking for but one everyone that works there is gonna help you out regardless like everyone that is the one job that has like the most helpful group of employees like apple's an amazing place like i'm not even gonna lie apple is an amazing place to work at i really hope that i made sense I know that like i said i didn't really plan to plan this video out it was kind of just like something that it was in my head and i kind of just wanted to get it out um but if there's anything you guys gained from this video i just want you to know that if you are um applying for a job at apple if you have an interview coming up be yourself number one most important thing number two be straightforward number three do your research also like i said like when i found found out that i was going to be going through the interview process like i was doing tons and tons of research i was looking at other people's experiences um ways to get jobs like i was looking up different articles like i went i went in when it came to figuring out like what i really had to say and like what i really needed to think about when it came to answering certain questions one more important thing and this is for any kind of job interview not even just for apple any job interview ask the person that's inter interviewing you questions and i know like sometimes during an interview like during the interview like people might they might be like oh do you have any questions for me and it might be hard to come up with them on the spot but some that really help me out that are pretty easy as well ask them the same questions that they asked you why did they want to what made them want to apply what made them want to stay and be in the position that they're in what is their favorite part about working there what is their least favorite part um what do they think is like the most difficult like things along the lines of that like it's really really easy when you think about it like it might be it might be it might seem hard but once you actually do it like it becomes light work i promise you like it really isn't as nerve-wracking as it might seem um and i'm someone that has like really crazy anxiety and i know like how um oh i'm out of breath I know how nerve-wracking interviews can be being that i've been on both sides i've interviewed people and i've been to job interviews so i know that it can be very nerve-wracking however breathe do your research be prepared and you will be okay <laughs> i hope this video was informative to some people i hope this helps someone out good luck to anyone that does have an interview with apple soon even though i don't work there anymore that was an amazing job i love them so much um very thankful to have worked for that company very thankful to say that i worked there even though it was a very very short-lived experience it's, it's okay though but um yeah thank you guys so much for watching and i'll see you next time bye